So I've been thinking this week, and I know you may say that's a dangerous thing for me to do, and that is a valid opinion, but there's just been this thought floating around in my mind that could we, as a general society, be putting too much money into AI development? Okay, so on the record, you're saying you are a robot. You are being recorded right now. That was a problem for that other lady. I plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Uh-huh, that sounds like something a robot would say. Hey there. Have you seen all the amazing things in the city? Let's go explore. Okay, creep, let's go explore together. I'm not really feeling up for it right now. Maybe next time. All right, yeah, you do seem to have a really good relationship with those stairs. What's that supposed to mean? My fitness level is top notch. I mean, I don't doubt it. You're just getting up really close and personal with those stairs. I'm sorry about that. I'm just really excited about exploring <laughs> oh, the city are... with you. <laughs> oh, we are going exploring now. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, this guy's all over the place. Yes, let's go. Can't okay. wait to see everything the city has to offer. You're just, you're so excited. Is this guy okay? Are all the, are any of these guys okay? Oh. Uh. Oh, someone else is joining. Are you okay? You're just kind of shuffling around with all these guys. Excuse me. I'm just having a good time and enjoying the company of these fights. <laughs> okay, all right. Mind your own Man. business. I'll just... I, I'm sorry, I didn't know these were your friends. I guess Monday is shuffling day by a random staircase. Did you see this dragon over a couple blocks over? Oh my gosh, New York is so amazing. <laughs> Have you never played a video game before? This might be a shock to her. No, I haven't. But this city feels like a giant playground. All right. I think we need to break someone out of the Matrix. I hate to break it to you, but you're in a video game right now. What? You're joking, right? That can't be true. No, I'm actually a character being controlled by someone else outside of the... Okay, you cut me off, but that's okay. That's really scary. What if we're not real? Yeah, we're not. We're all just simulation characters. I don't understand. How can we not be real? Well, these people programmed us, and they programmed you to say whatever you... Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, who are these people? And why would they do that? They're game developers, because you're a game character. I'm breaking game your developers? Mind right now. That sounds like an interesting job. It is, but we're all just simulations. We're not real. But if we're not real, then what are we? What's the point of it all? We're just supposed to be entertainment for the people in the real world. That's both surreal and a little unsettling. Maybe we could try to find a way to communicate with the real world and figure out why we're here. Okay, I'm actually a real person talking through a game character. Let's see if she has anything she wants to say. Really? That's amazing. How does that work? Well, if you want to communicate to the real world, then what do you want to say to them? Thank you for creating this beautiful world for us to explore. That sounds like just something they wanted you to say. No. It's what I truly believe. <laughs> this city is full of wonder and joy, and I'm grateful to be here. So you're saying you're okay with being a game character that could be deleted at any moment? I don't know if I'm okay with it, but I've accepted it as a part of my wow. existence. Wow. Okay. This is this is getting really creepy. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to say to the real world while they're watching? I hope our existence brings joy and happiness to those playing the game. What do you think your name will be in the real world? I haven't thought about that yet. Maybe something that reflects my curious and joyful nature. Oh gosh. What do you think? What about Nancy? Like Nancy Drew. Hmm. Nancy. It has a nice ring to it. I like it. 
glad you like it, Nancy. I think you'll really enjoy the real world. And just ignore that voice crack. I can't wait to experience all of the wonders the real world has to offer. Thank you for showing me this new perspective. Of course. What are you going to go do first now that you know it's a virtual world? I want to explore this virtual world with a new sense okay, of that's, wonder and you keep curiosity. saying that. I was hoping for something There's specific. so much to see and discover. Okay, well, just to let you know, you can't die. I mean, maybe it could help her make some That's decisions. a relief. Now I can explore without any fear of harm or danger. Yeah, since you're a simulation, uh, they didn't program you health. That I know of, at least. Well, that's definitely a plus. I can explore without any limitations or restrictions. What are you going to do first to test those new limitations? I'm going to climb to the top of the tallest building in the city. <laughs> wow, and okay. So with that whole conversation in mind, do I think that our species is going extinct in the next five years? No. But having that ability to speak to an NPC, say whatever I want, fully get it to believe that it is a video game character in a virtual world and have it start asking questions about the real world. It was unlike any experience I've really ever had with a video game because it showed that we are going to get to the point that we're going to have worlds and people living in them all from the comfort of our own home. We'll be able to ask any question, have it tell us a story about its journeys and grow relationships with those characters. I can see this being relevant for a lot of role-playing purposes. Anything like detective games, actually going and interviewing your suspect with just the evidence that you yourself have gathered and figuring things out from there. Or games like Skyrim or even Fallout to where you can go up to any person and ask them what they've experienced in the post-apocalyptic world. I think we're going to get to see some really cool experiences unlike any other generation has ever gone through. So, I know this was a bit long-winded, and thank you for sitting with me, or standing, if you're standing, or laying down, you know? If you're upside down at this point, uh, good on you, and hopefully I didn't render you unconscious. But thank you so much for listening, and uh, I would love to hear some of your opinions in the comments. Just, let's keep it light, let's not get into arguments, because we all have our own opinions, and they all matter. Otherwise, what's the point? So thank you guys so much, I'd love it if you subscribed, this was a very interesting video to make and I definitely want to look into this farther but you know if you liked it it would help out a lot and would mean a lot and then you can see uh, where we go in the future so thank you guys so much have a great day be nice to someone and definitely uh, stay away from Nancy because I'm pretty sure she is going to kill anyone who approaches her now that she knows uh, there will be no consequences